Welcome back to day two. Gonna eat some breakfast and head out for another dive. You coming, Christian? I wish. <laughs> Christian has uni, so he has to head back to Adelaide, but hopefully get another bag. So we'll see you in the water. The conditions were so beautiful that morning compared to what it was like a few weeks earlier. However, despite the nice conditions, we got off to a real slow start and for the first hour, none of the crayfish seemed to be home. But eventually I found one, so I dove down again to check it out. But guess what? I couldn't find the freaking cray. After looking around for a bit, I finally found it, so left my snare there to mark the hole. I had a funny feeling about that cray though, because I didn't remember it being that small. So of course, I went down to have another look. And turns out that was a different cray to the one I initially spotted. But I managed to spot the first cray, which was also on the same ledge. So I've moved my snare towards the bigger one, which unfortunately had backed right up. Anyway, the rest of my footage trying to get this cray out looks like this. So I'll save you from having to watch it and try my best to explain what happened. So I went down at least another six times trying to get it out. And you guys got to understand that this was the first legal cray I'd seen that day. So I really didn't want to give up. However, it was just too deep in and my arm wasn't long enough. So in the end, I had to call for backup. My arm's not long enough. After a while, backup arrived in the form of Daniel. And he had a couple cracks trying to get it out. But once again, the cray had just wedged itself in real tight and wasn't budging one bit. Looking back though, if only we had a horn snare on us, it would have made it just so much easier to get out. In the end, we decided to leave it for a bit. You wanna leave it and then look around and come back? So we moved on and about 20 minutes later, I managed to spot my second cray in the two hours that we'd been in the water. And then, this happens. Anyway, when I got to the surface, Daniel had some good news as he finally managed to get the cray from before. So still have it? I just saw my torch, she's just having a look, and it walked all like from the halfway out. Yeah. So I just saw it and I went and looked back. Finally, yes! So with the first crate in the bag, my spirits were lifted and I managed to find a nice sized one. And after doing at least five dives trying to get it out, I finally got it. But it wasn't coming out without a fight. Please excuse the poor footage as my GoPro lens was fogging up quite a bit but hopefully you guys can still make out what's happening. And to remind you guys, snares are permitted in South Australia. So, bit of an update, not many legal sized crates around, only little babies, so, what is that? What is that? Daniel. <laughs> so we're gonna look around for a bit longer and hopefully pick up a couple more. I missed it with a snare. You want to try and get it? Boom! 
Oh, how good. Just try and get some more then. Oh man, what happened next was just insane and I wish I filmed it on my GoPro, but unfortunately it was out of batteries. But I'll try my best to recount what happened. So I had just spotted another big prey, so went down to try and get it with the snare because I really didn't want to lose it. I got the snare around the cray, and obviously it wasn't a fan of the snare, so I managed to escape it. But Daniel and I weren't going to give up. We both just lunged straight at it, and the poor cray honestly stood no chance. This was no doubt one of my craziest catches, no pun intended. And once again, it reminded me of the big prey I lost with Luke. However, this time I didn't lose it. After catching that prey though, I was feeling pretty sick and ready to head in. We stuck it out for a while longer, but only managed to get one more small prey. Ethan. Caught a couple just legal craze. Yep. Just legal? Yep. Show me. Put your hand up. Damn. <sighs> it'll drip. It will drip. It's not gonna it's not gonna move, Mum. It's trust me. Not it's not there's no need to be scared. It's been an ice all day. Wow. And you tell me it's not gonna drip. Yeah, go on. I'm gonna fall in and go in. Yeah, who says it didn't drip? Wait, Ooh. wait! There you guys, this one's a monster. Can you help me carry it, Mum? I need two hands. <sighs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay. <laughs> Come on, you have one job. You have to not, okay, you where do you find right here then? You need to put, put the knife in there. Lobster catching cook ASMR gone wrong <laughs> in the hood. <laughs> said you can stop it. The real EJC exposed. Behind the scenes gone wrong <laughs> in the hood. <laughs>
lagi. Is ready. Oh, is it? Mmm. Like it? Mmm. <laughs> uh oh.